Hi, I'm Lee, an industrial designer here at Buck Knives at SHOT Show 2024, and I'm going to take you through some of our new products. So first, is going to be our first button lock, uh, the Sovereign. Uh, flick the thumb stud to open it, button lock to close it. Stainless steel handles, uh, either raw stainless steel or coated to look like carbon fiber. Deep carry pocket clip, uh, real nice snappy action on that. Press the button, closes up, fingers never have to go in the path of the blade. It's also available in a mini size. These have uh, stainless steel handles and 7CR blade steel. Next to that, we have our tray series. So, first is what we're calling the Ops version, the reverse Tonto blade. Uh, black aluminum handles on this one with the red liners. We call it the Black Widow colorway. It is a ball bearing flipper with an inset liner, a remo removable reversible pocket clip. That's going to come in three colorways and two sizes uh, the large and the mini. Put those side by side for you. Next to those, we have another version of it, which is more of an outdoorsy camp hike style. So it's got a drop point with a serrated combination edge. Otherwise, it's the same steel, same blade steel, same construction, ball bearing flipper, removable, reversible pocket clip. Available in an orange, a bronze, and a blue and available in a large and a small. The small does not have serrations on the blade. From there, we're gonna to go to our new autos. So, we have an 839 Mini Deploy in a modified Warrencliffe blade, and the 838 Deploy, the full size of the Warrencliffe blade. So, the 839 Mini has that sub two inch California legal blade, 154 cm blade steel with a satin finish, Cerakoted aluminum handles, removable, reversible deep carry pocket clip, uh, made in the USA. It's available in uh, an orange called Tequila Sunrise, as well as a sort of iridescent color called Northern Lights. It color shifts from kind of a blue to a green to a gold. We also offer an upgraded version of this that we call the Blackout. So, black Cerakote, black logos, we make every part of this black. We also upgrade to our S35VN blade steel, and that's available in the full size and the mini. From there, we're going to go to our hunt line. First we have the Alpha Elite series. So we took the popular Alpha series we launched last year and making the best possible version we could. We've got textured G10 handles, a mid, a high panel flat grind, and magnet cut blade steel. These are going to come with a Kydex sheath as that's been highly requested by our customers whenever we show off these knives. They'll be available in the 664 Hunter, the 663 Guide, and the 662 Scout. Now beside that, we're also offering a more price point friendly version in the Select. So these feature our famous 420HC blade steel in a stone wash finish with a hollow grind as opposed to flat grind. They have a injection molded handle with glass filled nylon and rubber for extra grip. They're going to be available in a orange and black or a gray and black in the 662, the 663, the 664, as well as the 664 gut hook. These are going to come with a nylon sheath with a leather patch on it. <coughs> Snaps in and a loop for belt carry. The next addition to our hunt line is the Pack Light Value Pack or V-Pack. So we launched the Pack Light at Shot Show last year and now we're doing a combination. You're going to get the 635 and the 631 together on one common carrier as a multi-pack. It's going to come assembled like this. Uh, one neat feature is that without the use of tools you can actually separate out the two knives and take the smaller one off. It just snaps off can be stuck back in, clicks into place, and the thumb screw for a secondary retention. That is going to be available in the select level with our 420HC hollow grind, as well in an orange handle and a black handle. We're also offering our pro version with the S35VM blade steel and the OD green micarta. 
These should save you about five to ten dollars over buying them individually. And the final ones are going to be our limited editions. So they're limited to the year. We're only going to make these in 2024. First, we have the 112 TRX Titanium. So this is our 112 slim model with blasted titanium handles, bronze PVD fasteners, and S45 VM blade steel, removable, reversible pocket clip. Next to that, we have another 112. In 2023, we did the 110 version of this. So the drop point, the S45 VM blade steel, a bare head construction, so only the front bolster, no rear bolster, and a scalloped rich light handle. This will also feature a made in USA leather sheath. Next we have the 500 Duke. So for this limited edition we want to do kind of a retro modern. So we took a lot of the styling of the classic Duke and added some fun features like a long pull nail notch, a straight clip. We did a bare head construction. So that front bolster, no rear bolster, marbled carbon fiber for the handle. And a lot of people tell us they like these classic knives but they don't want to carry a belt sheath or they don't want it rattling around their pockets. So for the first time ever on the Duke we've mounted a pocket clip. Oh, okay. Then we have the A38 Deploy. So this features a marble carbon fiber handle, copper launch button, safety, and spacer. And that is real solid copper, not just a coating. S45 VM blade steel with a Cerakoted blade. Uh, a nice snappy, lightweight auto. Now for the final two, the fixed blades. We have the 402 Kalinga. So this knife first entered our catalog in 1972 and it's been out of the catalog since 1997. We want to go back to how it was originally made so we used a lot of those original design elements. These came with black micarta handles with red paper spacers which we've done here with burlap micarta. Um, we also have done the retro style of sheaths. So when these first came out they were actually riveted and not sewn like you see on most leather sheaths. And the sheath is USA made. This knife features S35VN blade steel, so while it's a beautiful collectible knife, you can also use it for some serious field work. The final one we have is the Buckmaster 2.0. So this is being released to coincide with the 40th anniversary of the original Buckmaster. Uh, this is the only one that's limited by models. So we're only going to produce a thousand of these. So it has a special heat treat 420 HC blade that has a triple temper that we don't use on any of our other products. A machine textured G10 handle, flathead fasteners, a lanyard hole in the back, as well as what we're calling the emergency anchor wing. So this knife was done in collaboration with Commander Coulter, the designer of the original Buckmaster, and Rich Nyman the eminent historian for these. So one feature is this emergency anchor wing. It can be deployed on the knife to act as an anchor whether you stick it into sand, dirt, soft surfaces and gives you something to tether to. It can also be put in the reverse way, the prongs facing back, to, to ground into harder surfaces like coral or rock. There is also a slot in the sheath so you can stick the knife in and use the emergency anchor wing, but still have the blade edge be protected in any sort of harsh conditions. This entire knife, the sheath, the nylon backer are all made in the USA. Thanks for stopping by to check out some new product. For more information, check out our website, buckknives.com. Thank you.